changes, uh, SolarWinds will tell you that the interface is down. It's not down, it's changed, right? So um, I can fix that manually, or I can write a script. And if you run SolarWinds and you're out of PowerShell groups, you really should know about Orion SDK, because that's what gives you PowerShell. It gives you a few things. Um, it's got a nice wiki right there on the, the GitHub site, right? It gives you Swoical Studio, SolarWinds query language. <laughs> um, which is exactly like SQL, which is great, except when it's not, which is terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but with the studio, you can write your, your SolarWinds query, and you can get it right. And once you've got it right, you can go to the next great thing, which is the Swiss PowerShell module. Right? Can you say the name of that, that query language again, please? We will call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have no idea either. How many fun. syllables was that? <laughs> That's like a training class on automating solar winds, and the guy who was training did not have to save either. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so Swiss PowerShell module. Um, get some nice verbs like connect to the Swiss server. Um, get Swiss data. You can put in your, your query that you just tested in your GUI. And now I've got a list of all the NICs that I know are on servers that have working NICs because they're still up, right? That's what that query does. So now I'm halfway done. I can call the verb to delete them. Except that I'm paranoid and I overthink things, and sometimes the old NIC will show that it's gone, but the new NIC won't be found yet. So the way you add it into SolarWinds is you do a discovery. Uh, discovery is a little more complicated than just a simple verb, but the nice thing is, hey, look, here's a sample script up on GitHub. The SDK on how to do a discovery. You have to build a couple of different XMLs and uh, and execute it, right? So this is the code to do that. First, I'm getting the IPs of all my node objects that have bad NICs, sorting that down to unique because there might be multiple bad NICs on a server. Then I'm creating the XML that contains those IP addresses to discover. Sending an XML, um, and when I tested this through command line interactively, like you do, it didn't work. So, did some Googling, where they should do that, and I found discovery does not add WMI notices by credentials. Okay, so there's fixes to the XML in here that I copy and pasted into my script. Um, more XML that I've figured out, uh, and then. Invoke Swiss verb. I can't see what I'm showing you because of WebEx, but uh, create interface plugin configuration. So the other thing, nice thing about SQL Studio is so you can browse the objects. Here's the discovery object, and it'll give you the verbs that you can use with invoke Swiss verb. So in this case, I see that it just takes an XML argument, right? So, uh, let's refer to start the discovery. And then I am querying the data, the, the uh, discovery table, to see if it's done. The reason I'm doing this is because I didn't read the documentation and find out that there was a get discovery progress command that I could have invoked instead. Um, but that's fine. So it goes through discovery and it finishes. Once I feel confident that I've imported any new network interfaces that weren't showing up before, then I can go ahead and move to a subject, delete my bad old interfaces. And that's my script, uh, Swiss close. I mentioned the SolarWinds training class. Um, I asked him, because none of his scripts use Swiss close, so he asked the developer of the interface, and he's like, oh yeah, if you want to, you can use it. <laughs> I'm used to doing SQL queries, and they get mad at you if you don't close a session. Close right? and dispose. Right. So I, I still use it. Um, and uh, that's my script. Uh, funny story, about a month after I wrote that script, I updated SolarWinds, the latest version, and I got some neat new checkboxes, like this neat stale interface. <laughs> 
Oh, so perfect. what you really should know is Pat, Pat your stuff. Yes. And that's my story. All right. Cool. Nice.